Hi everyone, Chef from Outdoors in the Low Countries. As you might know, when you want to connect your front loader to your compact tractor, then sometimes it can be quite difficult because there's too much pressure onto the hydraulic coupling. Maybe it's because of temperature effects, maybe because there's some small movements of the hydraulic cylinder creating some pressure inside the hose and as a result you simply cannot connect it. For my compact tractors, especially the blue and the red ones, which always give some problems trying to connect. Now I saw on the internet people who are literally punching it with a hammer or they use a wrench to loosen the nut in order to release some of the hydraulic fluid and that way releasing the pressure. But that's not the way I want to do that uh, every time again. So I thought about it and I tried to make a tool that you can easily use to reduce the hydraulic pressure. So here's a tool that I created that can be used to easily reduce the pressure inside your hydraulic tube. Let me show you. So how does it work? You take the coupling that you want to depressurize and put in this interface part. You place the tool over it and you simply turn the screw. And then slowly the hydraulic fluid flows out. You turn back the screw. And your hydraulic tube is depressurized. Now you can do that for all of them. Now normally the white and the yellow one go on easily, but uh, let's do it anyway. A little bit of oil coming out. Not much. The other one. and all the tubes are depressurized. So this is a remainder part of the Rhino Ripper, as you could see. And I will use this to make the pressure release device for the hydraulic folds of the front loader.
next step is to put a made thread into this little part here in order to be able to mount the bolts. So manual thread cutting goes in three steps. This is the first one, you see one ring, and it's the one with the less sharp cutting edges. The second one has two rings and it's already a little bit more sharper. And then the final one is this one, which is with the sharp cutting edges. So first with the coarse one, don't forget to use cutting oil. And turn it back every once in a while to cut chips. So now we put on the second one, medium one, two stripes. Now the final fine one. Now this is some old material which I will use to create the bolt for turning the hydraulic coupling. So we created these two interface parts in order to protect your hydraulic connection from getting damaged. This way you can really have in a controlled way depressurize your hydraulic tubes. So especially the blue and the red one was sometimes quite difficult to connect and I'm very sure this will help to prevent it in the future. <laughs>